Welcome to the March 16th edition of the Muskie Daily. Tonight, we'll take a look at the local business that competed in Shark Tub, Muskingum's High Day celebration, and one large dog breed. All of that, sports, and more on tonight's episode. You're watching the Muskie Daily. a feeding frenzy on March 2nd on the campus of Zane State College as area businesses and startups participated in the third annual Shark Tub event. Orbit Media News reporter Logan Weaver looks back on the event and how one business with musky roots fared in the event. Bingham University sophomore Daniel Jennings and his company Jennings Java took part in the third annual Shark Tub event at Zane State College in Zanesville on March 2nd. Although Jennings Java did not win the event, Jennings and his company say they are satisfied with finishing in the top three. Even though it's not the result we wanted, we still gained valuable um, assets from this. We had two training sessions, so learned a lot about how to give formal presentations like we just did. And let's not forget that we did still win $600 through this event. Despite coming up just short from winning the event, Jennings says he and his business partner still learned some valuable lessons in the process. Never be intimidated to do things outside your comfort zone. I'm not a public speaker, but uh, you get up there and you can just kind of relax. And if you know your facts, you can never over prepare. Jennings was joined in the competition by fellow Muskie sophomore Luke Lloyd, junior Olivia Rhodes, and senior AJ Kazmerjak. For Orbit Media News, I'm Logan Weaver. In addition to the $600 earned from the investors themselves, Jennings Java also received an additional $1,300 for finishing in the top three. Gone to the Dogs, a dog grooming and training facility in Zanesville was determined the winner of the event. March 14th marked the return of the popular mathematical holiday, Pi Day. Here at Muskingum, students celebrated with a friendly competition. 3.14159265358979323846262626. Kappa Mu Epsilon sponsored an event for Pi Day where students competed to list off as many numbers of Pi as possible from memory. I thought knowing 26 numbers of Pi would be like a lot, but some people know like like 33 and like I wasn't even in the top three to name off a lot of things about Pi, a lot of numbers of pi. So I think it's great that so many people know so much math. Judges kept track of all the numbers of pi from a master list and recorded each participant's score. The top three of this competition will be receiving an actual pi for their mathematical efforts. Most people think of like the circular delicious pi. Uh, I was hoping there would be more of that. I, I guess there's not. Maybe. There, I mean there's pi pi today and, and that's what matters. Math. For Orbit Media News, I'm Chad Holmes. With hundreds of dog breeds to choose from, choosing the one for you and your family is no easy task. St. Bernard's are one of the many, but they also are one of the largest. Meet Clark, a St. Bernard puppy. They are gentle giants. They just love you. They just want to be near you and love on you. But St. Bernard's aren't just for hugs. They were bred to actually rescue people that were passing through St. Bernard Pass in the Swiss Alps. They were bred for a purpose. For them to eat, you have to make sure their food and water is, is at their level because that would really strain their neck to get down and eat and drink. Rocky offers some words of wisdom for those thinking about making a St. Bernard part of their family. If you're thinking of getting a St. Bernard and you have never had one, there's a lot to consider. <laughs> owning a St. Bernard is like owning five regular sized dogs. So there's a lot of hair, there's a lot of goobers, we call them, um, but it, it's worth it if you love dogs. According to the American Kennel Club, St. Bernards are friendly, intelligent, excellent friends for children, and yes, they can grow to be pretty large. For more on saints, visit akc.org. For Orbit Media News, I'm Brenna Busby. With the release of Iron Fist on March 17th, Matt and Aaron take a look at the final trailer for the Netflix series. Talking about the fourth Defender on this one minute review. We got the new Iron Fist trailer. Uh, the series comes out on Netflix in March. And it looks great. It's starring Finn Jones, who is playing Danny Rand. AKA Iron Fist. Yeah. 
So. The intro is pretty funny. He like shows up, he looks like this bum on the street. He's like, I'm Danny Rand, and he's been <laughs> gone for 15 years. This and is like, my company. And they're like, no, you're not. And they try to arrest him, and then he goes kung fu on the security yeah. guards. Then he goes so in the, he like, you know, skips in the elevator, like, you know, he, he owns the place, yeah. basically, right? He's in some mountains, you know, learning kung fu. With monks. To uh, train, because he needs to defeat the evil people in his organization or in his company, yeah. so. Yeah. And the main bad guy seems to be the uh, the <laughs> current CEO of the yeah. company. We got the girl from, or the, the, we have the nurse. The nurse, the she's nurse. back. She's yeah. been in all four of them. She's the glue yes. of the Defenders series. Yeah. And this is the last, this is the final Defender that we were being introduced to yeah. before the Defender series comes out, right? Next fall. Next fall, yeah. Which is going to be awesome. Uh, bottom line, this as is usually the case in any of these shows, is probably more complicated than what it seems from yeah. the trailer. That's right. it for this one minute review. We'll see you guys next time. Muskie Baseball saw some success over the break, posting a 3-6 and six record at the Russ Matt Invitational. Junior Eddie Harper and sophomore Michael Pagano both feature hot bats with the Muskies, with Harper leading the team with a 423 batting average and an on-base percentage of 516. Pagano isn't far behind, batting 391 at the plate with a 515 slugging percentage. Muskie softball didn't have the spring break they hoped for, returning from the Rebel Spring Games in Florida with a 2-10 overall record. The wins came against Bridgewater and Mount Clare State. The Muskies are still getting good performances despite the overall record, with a sophomore duo of Cassie Thomas and Kylie Zephyr, both batting above 350. For tuning in to the Muskie Daily, catch all our Muskie Daily newscasts, plus other Orbit TV content on Orbit Media TV on YouTube. You can also tune in to Orbit TV channel 96-204 or New Concord Cable channel 9. Thanks for watching and tune in next week on March 23rd.